New Wildcat 323 RBX here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a super cool, massively unique floor plan that can actually be used for a number of purposes. Now, real quick, I want to mention, you're going to see a bunch of options and upgrades on this RV here that are not standard. Um, you know, always remember that this video here is generic stock footage. The actual unit uh, in stock may vary a little bit. We try to make our picture tours match up. We do publish copies of our MSRP sheets right in our photo tours, though, so you can verify. So, um, you'll see more inside, but this fifth wheel could very well be like the last one you ever own. It could be a bunkhouse, it could be a second living room, it could be an extended living room, it could be a two bedroom, it can do anything. Now right here what we're looking at, this is a mid-profile fifth wheel basically, meaning mid-size, not the big giant monsters you see going down the road. This is the only one in its class that has a big drop frame like this. What that means is that your, your frame beam goes down, stops, drops, and then goes over. And that's what's giving us this huge, massive basement space in here. Now, a couple things. Notice that it's all finished off. This is actually a laminated upper deck, which very few manufacturers do. Even if they have a laminated trailer, very few actually still laminate the bathroom deck and the bedroom deck. That they do that because it means it is zero squeak, zero noise. It's not going to ever creak and moan and groan on you. Now, uh, this is an outside kitchen model, and you see the Weber grill here. You have the uh, Weber grill along with the little stand, so you don't have to have the grill like right into next to your camper. It means you have more storage space in your outside kitchen, too. You see the size of that spare tire, it's no joke. They have larger tires on these, just like a high profile fifth wheel. And it's funny because a lot of people compare these to like your, your large scale fifth wheels that cost significantly more, not realizing that this is actually in a smaller class with higher level amenities. Um, the uh, all rubberized flooring here is great because it, it's not the, the carpeting cloth stuff. When you go camping guys, when you put your toolbox in here, there's moisture on it because you always pack up in the morning when the dew has settled on everything. So you're going to put moisture in here, close it off, and then you're going to get that musty, moldy smell. Now you don't have to worry about that because it's rubberized. Now notice too, you don't have to duck under an overhead door. It's just an easy swinging slam latch baggage door. A true one hand door. Very nice stuff. Uh, you'll notice that everything on here is a true high gloss gel coat. You can very easily see our construction equipment over here. We are growing, we are expanding, we are going through, uh, you know, we're, we're being successful, but we're upgrading our service department to accommodate the growth in our sales department because we're not a buy it and fly it kind of place. Easy push button power awning with a full LED light strip. And I keep forgetting to turn those on lately here. There's full LED light stripping at the base. Hopefully I don't forget to turn that on later. Now, uh, a lot of manufacturers have gone away from a darker colored nose cap and it's because they, uh, they didn't UV protect it properly. There's two ways to put color on a nose cap like this. Either first, you infuse the color into the fiberglass and that's cheaper and easier. It almost costs nothing. The problem with that is within sometimes a year, under high sun exposure, it looks chalky and it looks worn out. Wildcat uses an automotive paint on their nose cap. It costs a dollar more, but this won't sun fade any more than your car. And you can see 20 year old cars on the road that still have fine looking paint. So, you know, it's, it's a problem you're not gonna run into. Did you notice the little hidden W in the nose cap right there? That's just one of those things they throw in. Um, the uh, All of your baggage doors also are fully laminated to help with insulative qualities, and that's a good thing to talk about on a Wildcat. I'll touch back on that in a second. We do also have a fully privatized docking station like one of those bigger fifth wheels, so it's easy to winterize, it's easy to, to flush your system, your battery disconnect is down there, uh, it's easy to keep your hoses private. Now let's talk about insulation. Um, the uh, Everyone gets all, all freaked out over R factors. Um, you know, problem is, you, I can publish anything. I can publish absolutely anything on my website. You have zero ways of disproving it. That's the hard truth of the matter. Well, what, what we're looking at here on a Wildcat is they add, well, first of all, it's all laminated around the sides so that you have, a, um, you know, an easy uh, source of insulation there. Now, they have like a, a layer of residential batten, um, like fiberglass roll insulation in the roof now. The other thing they do is they take a layer of uh, R14 radiant foil insulation, meaning it's a reflective barrier. So if you're cooking under hot sun, it will reflect the sun from cooking the camper. Um, and they also put a layer of that in the floors. That makes this thing very, very good for extended season camping, both in hot and cold weather. And again, this does have a fully enclosed underbelly. And I don't know if you're understanding the size of this, but it'll be more apparent inside. This is not a super slide model. What makes this floor plan possible is this virtual full wall mega slide. This is one of the largest slides you're going to find. Now keep in mind the model number, people say 323, that's a 32 footer. No, 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 no. 
this is much closer to 40 feet. I, I have to look. I think 323 might be the square footage of this model. A lot of manufacturers and bigger fifth wheels are going to square footage instead of um, length. The um, rear wall here is accent colored, but did you notice this full rear entry door? And it is. It's a true rear entry door. This is a true two uh, door coach. Oops, here's the bathroom door on the inside. That's the other thing. This is two bathrooms. This is a very, very, very unique floor plan. We'll come back inside here in a minute, but I wanted to show you. It is like not just a storage door. It's a true full entry door. Now, we have an incentive package going on at the time of this filming that includes, uh, among other things, the uh, actual backup camera. Not just the prep, but the camera itself. Now you see the ladder back here? That is designed uh, so that you can get up on the roof more easily. It's uh, great for um, you know seasonal maintenance and upkeep, things like that. Uh, something you may not have noticed though, is that this ladder folds. You see this little hinge right here? This ladder can fold up out of the way to make room for a bike rack. They welcome that kind of stuff here. Um, I, I showed you the full high gloss skin. Oh, outside kitchen. Obviously, we need to talk about that. That's where the party happens. So you see that it's self-supporting, and you can easily use this as a rain cover if the weather's a little bit cruddy. Now, notice that even in their outdoor kitchen, all of their cabinetry and construction, everything's the same. They want to be proud of every inch of this. In their cabinet, they even add a spotlight so you can see what you're doing in here at night. Uh, again, all hidden hinge stuff. Uh, and uh, notice that we have both hidden hinges and a strut to guarantee these doors don't fall down on you. And they are all hardwood. And that's really important because this is behind the axles. This is going to bounce a lot back here. They leave you extra uh, countertop prep space here for anything you want. Blenders, TV, microwave, griddle, you got it all. And even outside here, we have a stainless steel sink. So, you know, it's, it's actually something that's going to hold up and last over time. Very large, uh, full-size uh, fridge out here, mini fridge. Full-size mini fridge, does that make sense? I guess it's bigger than the college kid mini fridge, so we'll say it at that. But this is dad's medicine cabinet here, and, uh, you know, <laughs> it's, that, it's really nice having cold drinks outside. It means that you're, you're not going to have to constantly run in and out of the camper for the fridge or the bathroom because there is a second bath by that rear entry door. Uh, again, I mentioned the bigger tires. Um, the, uh, what was I want to show you? Oh yeah, the more ride suspension system. Again, this is where this thing kind of blurs the lines between um, luxury fifth wheel and family class fifth wheel because this is designed to be supremely family friendly. The whole floor plan is designed that way. But you have a high-end suspension here that's a rubber dampening system. Who's, it's designed to soak up shocks and jolts before they get translated into your vehicle and jar your vehicle around. You're going to see this name a lot in here, Furion. I don't know if you can read that. Furion is becoming the premier provider of high-level electronics in the RV industry. Uh, like, this has three Furion televisions. And the reason they use those, they, they might be a dollar more, but they're made for RVs. That means that they're designed to be shaken. They can be shaken up to three Gs, meaning three times the force of gravity without failing. They can be frozen and then heated to 80 degrees quickly. Uh, like, let's say that you're driving from one climate to another, or it's cold at night and it warms up during the day. That's what they're made for. Now, you see just the little intelligent convenience factors. You have an easy access trash can. You can get to it from out here or inside. You can get to it either way. Tip it out, pull the bag, you're done. You know, just replace the bag and go. You also have handy little shoe caddy down here. You see that you have an easy spot to get shoes inside or outside of the camper. Um, another area where this kind of blurs some lines is we have four entry steps, not three, like you'll commonly find in this class. And that's the thing. This has the features profile of a higher class fifth wheel in a lower budget and price point. That's what's really nice about these. I will guarantee you will still find a fifth wheel a dollar cheaper. But in this class, it's not going to have all the features we're talking about. Um, another thing these are really good for here is you just have easy light switches. Wildcat has gone to easy switch zone system. So you might have like a living room section, a kitchen section. Um, in the slide outs, you always just have one easy button and that's it. Uh, in the rear living bunkhouse entertainment second bedroom den area, whatever you want it to be, uh, you kind of have the same features there. Let's start from the top though because there's a lot to hit on in this RV. These are extremely highly appointed and very feature heavy, but at a glance you can miss stuff. Like for instance, you don't see the air conditioner anywhere. 
That's because these have a whisper quiet AC system. You don't see the AC system. The whisper quiet part is not just a name. It doesn't roar when you turn it on because of the way the air is ducted. It's also more efficient. I don't mean it will get colder. It'll get down to temp faster. And you see the residential fan up here to give you fresh air blowing around all the time. And with these batten strips here, you can easily see uh, the cathedral style ceiling. It is very wide open and comfortable in here. In the sides of the slides, they put an accent color wall there to make it a true slide room, to give it a true room feel. Um, this is a, a, a hide-a-bed you can kick out. Odds are you're probably not going to need it with all the sleeping space in this RV. Now, the big king dinette here is sweet. It's not only large and has lots of storage in it, but it has uh, large, easy access storage in it as well. Um, let's, uh, I'm going to flip around here to the kitchen real quick before we go to the back part here. All of this cabinetry here, all of this is, again, hardwood, hidden hinge, uh, hardwood doors, pardon me, uh, lumber core styles, meaning wood with a wrap on it. At this price point, you don't tend to find stained wood. That's that's true on anybody. Um, the uh, You see, we're looking at the uh, upgraded handles here that are a lot easier to manage. Um, and again, this is designed for long-term use and ownership. These are solid surface countertops designed for long-term use and ownership. Easier to clean, easier to manage. They are Corian. They're not off-brand type uh, stuff. Um, this is an American stone cast sink, which is in incredibly impact resistant. And you can throw boiling hot water in it. It doesn't melt. It doesn't warp. It doesn't have problems. If you dead froze this thing and decided for whatever reason to carry out a pot of hot water, maybe. But that's just dumb. Um... Again, easy access trash can. Nice little intelligent features like that. Stuff you're going to use every day. But in the meantime, it's clean. You don't have to see a trash can in here. Uh, this is a true backsplash. That's not a wallpaper, so that's a nice little touch in there. And again, just easy access uh, light switches all over the place. Um, the Oh, this is cool. I wanted to make sure I pointed this out. Little drawer and a door system here. So you uh, definitely have easy um, you know, like silverware spots, but in the meantime, again, it looks high-end. It looks plush and clean. The refrigerator's huge. Most refrigerators and fifth wheels are six cubic foot. In this class, they'll tend to be eight cubic foot. This is nine. We've upgraded this to be even larger still. Now, uh... This is the now here's the thing I want to point out again. This is a mega slide. You see that fascia? This whole wall is one big slide. This is a massive slide system. They are indeed this for two years to make sure this was going to perform. They did not just wing this out on the market. Um, the biggest thing at Wildcat, like they won't use frameless windows. Frameless windows look cool, but they don't get as much airflow. Things have to function first. They would love for their RVs to look super sweet with frameless windows, but it doesn't offer the performance of just a common slider window. You don't get as much airflow. So right here in the uh, other, the rear section of the mega slide, we have a second full height of bed. But you see that you have a flip up overhead uh, bunk here. This can be used as a bunkhouse, as a den, as a second living room, as an extended living room, as a craft room. Uh, it's a it's a true two zone floor plan with a shared common uh, kitchen space is what's so cool about this. Um, you know, behind us over here, we just have a truckload of storage so that everyone gets their own sleeping and storage space. It's kind of cool. The shelves they have here are designed to be used uh, as the ladder for the upper bunk. They even put a little no slip strip on the end of all those and they give you a little grab handle. Um, uh, as we have this particular unit equipped in this video, um, it is uh, basically, uh, you know, all three TVs. We have living room, bedroom, and rear bedroom, master, den room, whatever you want to call it back here. Uh, again, the, the, other, the bedroom and the, I don't know, bunkhouse TV, these are options that we've added into it. But you have awesome storage in here. And this is all uh, in the slide. The outside kitchen's behind the TV with this bunk right above, just to kind of paint you a little bit of a picture. Um, so again... You have a rear entry door, so the kids have an outside kitchen with a, a fridge over here, and you have a door right here that goes straight to, not a second half bath, a second full bathroom. This has two full bathrooms. Now, because this bathroom is on the lower deck of the fifth wheel, you have extreme headroom in here. But what's kind of cool is these are built tall enough that you're not going to have that problem. Uh, you're not going to have like headroom problems in the main shower anyway, and I'll demonstrate that for you. Again, stainless steel sink, and uh, I love how clean this is. 
with the with the big mirror here they put lots of storage below and they just left a nice clean mirror here to leave this open bright you know extra large mirror for extra uh light now this is also real wood this is not particle board or press board or anything like that um this is a big deal with this second bedroom you need privacy well you get it you have your own double sliding door here so at night you can cut this off uh, you can, like I said, you can have a rear den or you could use this like an office. You could use this like anything you want. The kids could be back here winding down after they're all hopped up on Mountain Dew and Kool-Aid or s'mores or, you know, the stuff that we pack them full of that we shouldn't, but whatever, we're camping. You know, we all make that excuse because, you know, we all want to sneak a little bit of it for ourselves too. So you have this uh, big, wide open living space, this huge, awesome flow that you get to use during the day. And then at night you get to shut it off uh, and just have tons and tons of room in here. This is such a cool, unique floor plan. Like I said, it very well could be the last fifth wheel or RV anyone ever needs to invest in. Uh, just to give you a quick pass through the kitchen here, I, I've touched on most of that already. I want you to see how everything looks and is shaped and colored though. Um, I forgot to mention, I love this wood plank looking linoleum here. Now, um, we use the word linoleum. It's not actual Armstrong linoleum anymore. This stuff is far better against cold cracking. Tell you what the hard winters though we've had nothing is uh cold crack proof and that's something that we've seen but we've seen manufacturers stand behind their work and their products too and that's what i like um the uh entertainment center here this is am fm cd dvd bluetooth high def inputs for uh i mean you can do anything with it now a cool thing wildcat includes and runs an hdmi cable for you what does that mean to you? If you have a satellite system, if you have a Blu-ray player, if a kid has a high-end gaming system, you don't have to go buy a $20 to $40 cable, depending on where you shop, and you don't have to try to fish it up through the entertainment center, or you don't have an ugly cable draping across the entertainment center of your nice new fifth wheel. It's clean. It's done. They did it for you. They pre-planned ahead of the game which people just don't generally do in this industry a lot. Your big living room TV, I'm roughly about 40 inches on here. You see it's on this giant heavy duty swing arm so that if you wanna face the TV right here in the slide, you can. If you wanna face it toward the cook, you can do that. If you wanna face it back here, you can do that. It is a uh, kind of an all purpose solution system here. <clears throat> now they don't use hardwood steps. Hardwood steps look awesome. But if you're in your socks, they're slippery. Uh, so they make they give you these little no-slip strips on the end, and the linoleum floor has a little more grip to it than hardwood anyway. But did you notice they hand they built in and they built in here the handrail. If this is not built in, because in order for the screws to have something to bite into in a laminated wall, they have to plan for this to be here. They have to put an aluminum backer in the wall to drill into. Otherwise, the screws are going to drill into bead foam, and you're just going to rip it right out of the wall as soon as you slip, and that's no good. You're depending on that being there being solid. They do it. They get it done for you. The bedroom is absolutely gorgeous. And again, just like everywhere else we've seen, we have easy one zone switches, just like you have at your house. When you walk in your house, you don't expect to walk through and switch off every single light. You don't have to do that here. This is very residential in that respect. And look how they use every square inch of the nose. This is gorgeous. It is incredibly intelligently designed. It's not flat. It's all got shape and character. It's very, very attractive looking. This is a true queen bed, 80 inch bed, 60 by 80. Uh, real queen sheets fit this. It's not a camper bed. There is storage under it, which a lot of fifth wheels do not offer. Also, uh, both, when they go when they build it like this, the reason they do it is both sides of the bed have their own bedside stands. And with charging stations and power outlets, this side has the extra 12 volt and USB plugs. Both sides do have residential plugs though. That means that folks with CPAP machines, you don't have to decide, do I sleep well this weekend or do we take the family camping? You get to do both because the power outlets are right up next to your head. Again, very intelligently designed. Similarly, this slide right here, uh, this is the what third slide of the RV. This is a uh, pure storage wardrobe slide, but they left a cross breeze window in here and they made it pretty darn large so that you still get good airflow cycling through the RV, including the roof vent up here. Um, and again, this to give you an idea how, how large and deep this is, this is about 24 inches, 18 to 24 inches of just pure storage here. You get to see my legs and my khakis there in the mirror. Sorry about that. But huge extra wardrobe closet here. Because they don't have the storage here, 
they've made sure you get it back over there. But this little area, this strip right here, that is your um, bathroom storage. That's your bathroom linens and whatnot that without this big slide, you would not have. When you add the bedroom TV, you get the bedroom TV mount. So again, in this particular RV, we have added that option. Not every single 323 RBX is going to have that. Always make sure you compare and know what you're spending your money on. Let's take one quick peek at the bathroom. And I've run way over on this floor plan, but this thing is so new and so unique that I really wanted to give it its time and its its due diligence. Um, I, I was telling you how tall the bathroom ceilings are in here. Again, just like the rear bathroom, I'm never gonna hit my head in here. Um, you know, unless you're seven foot tall, you're not even gonna come close. This is a spa style shower, meaning the doors open from the middle. And that they do that so that the swinging door doesn't like bash against the, uh, the uh, toilet going down the road, which by the way is porcelain, not plastic. Um, big skylight here for extra light and whatnot. And again, just like everything, one switch. You know, you have one switch for lights in here. Now with these two big skylights lighting light in though, you don't necessarily need it a whole lot. Um, give us a call, learn more here, 800-256-5196. Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care everybody, stay safe, happy camping, go have some fun.